Welcome everybody to another War Thunder video. This time we are looking at the Heinkel 112B0. This is a 2.0 battle rating plane in the Germany tree. And this plane's a little different that it's uh, it's not your typical boom and zoom. It, max speed is 502 kilometers per hour, but that will outrun most of those biplanes you'll be facing. And um, it's not a turn fighter either, but its advantage is the 20 millimeter cannons that it has. So here we go. So as always, when you're fighting at battle rating 2.0, you get small maps, so you don't spend your first several minutes of the match climbing. Uh, not to mention that most players won't climb to 4,000, 5,000 meters, so there's really no need to get too high, which means you get to engage faster, which means you get into the action quicker. Spent quite a bit of time chasing that I-16 with another friendly, and finally got tired of doing it. Uh, we'll encounter him in a little bit. But for now, we're gonna head back towards the action and help our teammates out. Okay, we're starting our first engagement here with this F3, F2 biplane. He doesn't seem to be aware of this, so we're just going to take our time and just... Oh, that was really bad. Really bad shooting there. Now, the good news is, like I said, even though this is not a booming zoom plane, at 500 kilometers per hour, you're going to outrun all the biplanes. And most of the other planes, too. So. It, it does suit the building really well to just outrun this guy until he gets tired of chasing. You can see we're just leaving him behind. There's really no chance of catching us. Just have to be patient and wait for him to become disinterested. In the meantime, we'll start climbing at a 10 degree angle. And we'll get some altitude on him and we'll have that energy advantage when we do turn back around. You can see that Ki-27 heading towards that F3F2, so we'll wait for him to get a little closer and then we'll, we'll help, him, help him out on two versus one. Okay, as you can see that that F3F2 F3 is now engaged with another friendly, so we can turn around. And now this F3F2 F3 has a real problem. He's going to have a two versus one here very shortly. bit of a difficult angle to hit him at, although he did turn around nicely for us. Still couldn't quite get my guns on him. So now we're in the middle of a 2v1. That Ki-27 just finished him off. On to our next fight. As we can see, that Ki-27 is heading towards that I-16. And uh, we're going to go head over that direction and help him out a little bit. Let's see, we're closing really fast. So that I-16 is heading straight for us. 
We'll keep the same role we had before. We'll, we'll boom and zoom. Take turns with that KI-27 until that I-16 just can't turn anymore. He'll eventually lose enough energy that he won't be able to turn. And it'll be a lot easier to hit. Stay up high and use our energy advantage. Being careful not to hit our friendly. Trying not to turn too hard. I don't want to lose all of our energy We're trying to make that turn and nose dive into the ground. So we just loop up high and cut back over again. I-27 with the dust. Put a face plant in the ground, I think. So there we go. Set him on fire. Chances are he's not going to survive that. He noticed we're out of cannon ammo now. It's one disadvantage of this plane is that it just doesn't have a whole lot of cannon ammo. 120 rounds between two cannons does not last very long. As you can see circled on the screen there is our airfield. I'm just going to head back there and get some more cannon in and see you back in the air shortly. Okay guys, here we are rejoining the action a few minutes later. The enemy only has a couple planes left. Let's see from there. One of them is this SB-2M and this maneuver here what I'm about to do is what I call the look at the plane very menacing and just watch it destroy itself. So what you do is you kind of just look at it, maybe growl a little bit, and then go. I don't know what happened there, guys. Reviewed the footage. I don't believe I've ever shot that plane. Maybe I did. But uh, I was certainly the closest plane to it when it was destroyed. So maybe I just got credit for it. Okay, this doesn't happen all the time when there's only one enemy plane left. But you can see there's a red grid square. That's where the enemy is. I wish I could tell you it shows up every time, it just doesn't. But it sure is nice when it does show up, so you can find that last plane that's, especially if it's trying to space camp on you or go to the edge of the map and hide. So now that we're in the same grid with it, we just need to look around and until we spot it, Okay, this is the last plane. It's a B-18. You can see it down below us here. And uh, he's obviously gone to his airfield and rearmed, so he's very low in altitude. And we're just going to do the classic boom and zoom. We're going to be patient. The last thing you want to do is get behind someone with a turret and just let them put their crosshairs on you and destroy you. It's very frustrating. So you can see he's already spraying. But we're coming in at an odd angle for him. We're just coming in fast. We put a crit on him, but as you know, with a bomber, critical doesn't bring him down. You're going to have to keep coming back at him. So we're just going to convert that speed to altitude. 
come back around for another pass. Just keep hitting him from the side here. So he doesn't have a really great opportunity to get his turret on us. And right there, I got a little greedy. But it did take out his gunner. And our cannons are now out of ammo. So we're going to have to finish him with just machine guns. He's doing the same thing, though. Just hi, yo-yo, come back around. Start spraying him. That's his engine on fire. Not too worried about return fire here since his uh, gunner was down. And then took out that other engine. That was it. That's the end of that game. Okay, we're recapping the 112. As you can see, the ammo is a bit of an issue. You need to be accurate. Maybe just use your machine guns till you get really close, then use your cannon, but you know, just don't be shy about having to go back to the airfield and reload because 120 rounds goes really quick when there's two 20 mils. So I hope this video gives you another option when you're looking for a low battle rating plane to fly in. Turn fighters and boom and zoom is just not what you're feeling. You can take something with a little more firepower with this plane.